Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with an unwrapping video or unboxing video, whichever you prefer. Those of you guys that have watched the channel for a long time know that we take advantage of a feature that the Mint offers that some of you newer collectors may not know about. They actually have a subscription program that we will have a link to below this video in case you guys want to go there and see what they have and see what you guys might want to buy. There are certain features, for example, they make announcements, just like we tell you to hit the notification button. If you sign up, they will send you a notification when something special like 2018 San Francisco Mint sets come out. What we have on the table is our annual delivery of all of the various types of Mint sets that the Mint normally produces. We have the uncirculated sets, which is the P&D. We have the clad proof set and the silver proof set. And we usually get one of each of these and we usually get one uncirculated set. But we've been getting a lot of reports, mostly from you guys and some from the trade medias, that the uncirculated sets have been showing a lot of errors and varieties. So we changed our order, and we still had time to do it, to upgrade so that we would get two uncirculated sets as part of our uh, subscription. And they give you combined shipping. Sometimes they give you a discount. Um, I don't remember if the 10% discount still applies or not. Um, but we're going to open this one, the uncirculated, because this is the one that I've been waiting to get because I keep hearing about all these people finding issues. So this is how they come, Philadelphia and Denver. Not too uncommon from the 2005 or the 2010 that we showed you. Um, pretty much just an updated version of that. These are the backs. Let's see if we see anything obvious. So here's the Jim Thorpe reverse on the Sacagawea dollar, what used to be called the Sacagawea dollar, it's now the native dollar. This coin apparently is becoming already very collectible. So if you can get a proof, this is an uncirculated, but if you can get a proof version of these, like in the proof set, the, the S version of these with the proof finish, these, are, uh, these apparently have quite a bit of demand. So I don't see anything obvious on the backs. I'll open it up and it shows you what's really cool too about all these sets. On the certificate of authenticity, it lists each coin by denomination, who designed it, the technical details of the metal composition. So it'll show you, you know, copper, nickel, nickel, copper clad, um, that type of thing. Sacagawea manganese, so it's not a gold dollar even though it looks like one. Uh, and then it gives you the weights, 2.5 grams, 11.34 grams so especially for you new folks again if you're trying to figure out how much the coin should weigh and what you found you can grab one of these sets if you have one if you have no other resources you can look it up right here and uh, and, and find it so I'm gonna take a quick peek at the fronts these are obviously the Philadelphia's and I don't see anything that jumps out at me now you know from watching our videos hopefully that the first two issues the Pictured Rocks and the Apostle Islands, we've already found quite a few coins, circulated coins, uh, business strikes with varieties, with die chips, with cracks, all kinds of issues. We've got a couple of videos out on those and they're on our error list. The Voyagers, we have not gotten one yet. They just came out about a week or so ago and Cumberland Island is coming out in about a month, I believe. So. We'll take a look at these. I'm going to set them off to the side. It's kind of hard to do this on camera and really do a good job of it because I need the microphone, the, the microfine glass to at least see even this. And I may wind up underneath the microscope in the end. Now these, I can tell you, glancing with the, the natural light coming in from the window, this Denver set, these quarters look absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm definitely going to check these because these look like 
they could be gradable. Uh, that, that's my first impression. Uh, the dime looks really crisp. The penny looks really crisp. The nickel uh, might have a slight blemish on it. So the same thing with the Kennedy. So right now, first bl bl blush, I'm looking at these two and I'm looking at these five because they just look really, really crisp. All right, guys, so based on what we're seeing so far, um, I mean, we've got some awesome coins here to check that could be gradable, and we've got some coins that we need to check that may not be gradable, but may be, um, that may be, may be candidates for errors of varieties. We still have the clads to check. We still have the silvers to check as well. But, you know, we've, we've got a, a very long video already. We haven't even opened the other two sets and we need to spend some time with the magnifier and uh, possibly the microscope. So if we find anything that we were thinking of sending off either for grading as a proof coin or, or a mint state coin, or if we find a variety or error, we'll come back and do a special wrap for that at the end of this video. Hey guys, here we are back with the wrap of the mint sets that we opened. And we went through um, all four sets, the two uncirculated sets, Denver and Philadelphia, and we went through the proof clad and proof silver sets. Surprisingly, the uncirculated sets are very pretty. Uh, there are some minor issues on them that I think would prevent them or prevent us from submitting them for grading. They're nice for the collection. Um, but I'm not sure that they're worth the money to send in for grading. So at this point, we're gonna hold off on, on those. Then we kind of got the shock of our lives because we went through the clad proof set and the silver proof set and couldn't find a flaw on any of the coins in those two sets. In theory, all 10 coins from each set look to be MS-68, possibly MS-70, somewhere in that range, but you're talking about 20 coins to send off to get graded, and we're going to have to sit down and figure out whether that's in the budget or not, because sending off 20 coins to be graded for uh, proof state grades, um, we have to see what they'd be worth, what what, what they would cost. Uh, that's beyond our membership level on the discounts. So we've really, we've got to figure out what the actual cost would be before we could submit these. But the idea is we will be submitting some of these uh, to PCGS to get uh, graded for sure because these things are just absolutely stunning. So if you get yours this year, check them out thoroughly because we didn't expect to see what we saw in these sets. Uh, we would, we would Take them out and show them to you, but it's all you would see is mirrors. <laughs> it's just, it's it's uh, a lot of glare. So, hopefully, you guys find this interesting. Hope you find this informative, helpful, and uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and till next time, J and B signing off.